If you were to walk down this street, this Step 5 house is no different than any of the other houses, other than the fact that it uses significantly less energy than all the other houses. As Mark and I travel around the province, we hear a lot about how expensive step code is going to be, about how expensive energy code is going to be. So we approached Dean and asked him if he would be interested in taking part in building an affordable step five house, specifically using the integrated design process because we brought that from our other high performance background. Dean was all about it. He jumped at it, basically. We did a couple of homes together and we got to talking and, and Mark presented this idea of a step five home as an example home. Growing up off-grid and, and being used to solar, it was an easy yes for me. Through the integrated design process, we had the contractor, the energy advisor, the designer, and the client sit down at the table at the beginning, and we all collaborated on what we needed to do to make this house affordable and energy efficient. And when we do that at the beginning, we can all talk about the designer wants a feature. Then the contractor can talk about how that feature affects them. The energy advisor can talk about how that feature then affects the energy performance of the building and then we can have a discussion as to whether we actually want to implement that or not. The integrated design process involves everybody. It's not just one person with an idea of a custom home and says, here, build this. It's the idea surrounding energy efficiency and making sure that we can achieve the levels that we want and still have flow and function. And that's where the IDP comes in. The old saying, prior planning prevents poor performance. Well, this is directly related to IDP plan it out. Now, you might spend a bit of extra money up front, but you're going to spend less money in change orders down the road. I came from building spec homes in Saskatchewan, and then I started working with Bernhardt Contracting. And the first house that I, I built with Bernhardt Contracting was Passive House Living Building Challenge House. It was the first one in the world, and I thought it was going to be really difficult. Um, nobody had ever done one before. I only had spec experience, and then I started building this house, and I started realizing that it, it wasn't that much different than what we were already building. And in fact, in a lot of ways, it was easier. The building geometry was simpler. And the air barrier detailing was dead simple because we have to wrap a cube as opposed to complicated dormers or weird sandwiched in garages, all these other weird details that you see in typical spec homes nowadays. As soon as I looked at the foundation plan, it was basically square. Like, oh, this is easy. It's actually not difficult at all. It was two by six exterior walls, two foot centers, you know, like typical construction, typical slider windows. You know, everything was typical, but it was all attention to the details of air tightness and insulation values. So the windows aren't any different than any normal home. They're entry level windows. The key factor is that we put the majority of the glazing on the south side of the house. The reason why we did that is to capture free solar energy from the sun. Another critical factor in that though was designing proper overhangs in this house so that we could limit our overheating capacity in summertime. So that means in summertime, we have solar shading on the back designed with our, with our overhangs. But as that sun lowers and drops into the winter months, we have full solar exposure on the, on the glazing to capture solar energy. For someone to say that it can't be done and it's too expensive, it's more difficult, well, being that it was a square box, our square foot price actually dropped below what we're typically building for. It was actually cheaper to build than one of our standard custom homes. We really need to strike a balance between housing designers, contractors, energy advisors, and homeowners working together in the future in order to hit the high performance targets that are coming whether we want them to or not. The best way to do that is through an integrated design process, is through talking about the challenges that we all have with what each person brings to the table and working through those together.